Mighty on my uh, laptop playing in Hydronir. Now, let's see. I don't have a stand for uh, for this. For fuck's sake. Laptop can't run fucking recording software, so I am fucking... Did that just go through the ground? No, it didn't. Okay. Uh, the point of this is I noticed a physics problem. Give me a minute and I'll do my best to show you. Well, it's not particularly annoying. It does lend some minor, um, if I had to put it into a percentage, I would say less than a percent of um, potential problem to multiplayer for Hydronir. Also, my stance on multiplayer for Hydronir. I like the idea, but the game is currently not in a state where it's ready for that. So, give me a moment more. What I'm about to do is show you this graphics glitch bug that I've come across. <clears throat> I've got a pallet. I've just finished stacking the iron ingots on it. Now, just give me a moment. I've got to... Save and go to main menu. I'll wait for that. Well, that's waiting. Okay, then uh, what I did was I quit out of the game. So, quit the desktop. Now I'm going to come back in. Yeah, just give me a minute. There. Now. Just load it right back up. <coughs> uh, go ahead and continue where I left off. I've only got the one save file so far. Now I just... Pick up the pallet and all the bits just go right through it. <laughs> now that's that's only a problem when I want to come in just after I've stacked up a pallet with whatever's on it and pick it up and move it. It's only a problem then. Also, I have no idea what that's going to do to affect multiplayer. Also, after moving the pallet, I've got a stack, well, multiple stacks from the previous um, save, quit, and reload. Where they were just hovering in midair. It's a neat little bug, glitch, whatever you want to call it. But it's uh, part of a physics engine that's not functioning as it should with keeping the items on the pallet. 
Also, when you've got a massive amount of, well, for me, it was raw gems to be compressed or <clears throat> a lot of spilled bits from the harvester. That's still a problem, even though I've got a funnel on top of it and then I've got um, fences around it. Next, I'll try windows. Then after that, I'll try, um, oh, what was it? Those metal sheet panels. <clears throat> That's still a problem with the dirt chunks falling out of the top of the harvester. Also, as far as multiplayer goes, this game is not ready for multiplayer. Yes, it's it's a wonderfully good idea. I, I even like it. But this game is not ready for it. Because all those, um, the game registers them as entities. They're using lots of CPU, GPU, and RAM. Uh, CPU for the physics engine. RAM for <coughs> how many of them are in the game space, in the three-dimensional game world. And GPU because they all are animated. Even though they'll cl clip through each other, every texture on them is animated. That's one of the reasons I suggest item stacking. So that similar items of the same value just merge into one representation that's only using a smaller amount of CPU, GPU, and RAM, it'll help with the game stability. It'll help with multiplayer, because if multiplayer releases and people decide to do a mega build, it's most likely going to burn people's CPUs out. It would definitely burn mine out. It might even cause some uh, hardware bricking. I've had an issue with that before. And like my laptop, the cheaper your hardware, the more likely it is to cause massive problems for you. So, as far as... Um, uh, what is it, foul ball hangover? Uh, the person making the game is concerned. I personally look at it this way. <coughs> <coughs> if you can get your game, well, the game you're making, to run as smooth as possible on this cheap $200 laptop, that I got as a gift that somebody uh, in my family got at Walmart for me. If you can get it running as smooth as possible on this piece of hardware or similar pieces of hardware, then it'll run that much smoother on mid-grade and high-grade PCs. It'll also help with a lot of problems that are going to pop up in multiplayer when you get it ready. I'm not saying don't do multiplayer. I'm saying hold off on it until the game is ready. Everyone else, just be patient. A rushed game stays horrible. While a delayed game 
can be brilliant. If you let the guy working on it take his time to get everything fixed up so that it runs as smoothly as possible, then it'll be that much better when he brings multiplayer out. You'll have that many fewer issues. You won't be um, flooding your uh, friend's bandwidth and his CPU, and GPU, and RAM with uh, irrelevant data. Because having massive amounts of entities stacked up in the game, it causes extreme performance issues. There's like two YouTubers I, I know that are doing continuous content on Hydraneer. Um, I don't know them personally. I know that they're doing content. One fellow, Hybrid Steel, first YouTuber I came across actually doing continuous content on this game as far as Let's Game It Out and Dangerously Funny, who I've got paused on the console. They just did some bits for fun. On their channel. I've said what I had to say. Can't think of anything else to add to it. Except item stacking. That would help a lot. It would help people load a pallet more efficiently. It would help people transport items around on their builds, their, their mining sites, their bases, whatever you want to call it, a lot more efficiently. Because the way this game's aesthetics are designed with all the entities not stacking similar items such as a bag of spanners or Let's see. The uncut gems. The. A lot of the items. Need stacking. Where it combines into one representation that's animated in the game. And it displays a number on it somewhere. It lets you know that there's that many items in the stack. As far as doing it with the bars of the smelted materials, I'm not really sure about that one. How to go about it to effect the best results for everyone involved playing the game. I was definitely going to need... Um, an option to pick up the whole stack or just pick up one or pick up whatever arbitrary number you set to want to pick up out of the stack. Oh, that leads me into another thing. One problem at a time. Another thing I'll just write down and get to later. Till next time, toodles.